Welcome back to Take Apart. In this video, we will change spark plugs in this HR16DE Nissan slash Renault engine. I will do it without disconnecting any electrical connector so that no fault code will appear. Spark plugs are hidden below the intake manifold. One is here, second next to it, third and fourth are unaccessible. You can kind of see it from this side. I am using Bosch spark plugs. Here is a part number. And let's see how they look. These spark plugs are the tiny ones. They are made for 14 mm thin wall socket. So make sure you have that one. Alright, let's start. We'll remove the intake pipe, snorkel, and then some hoses and two sensors. Also PCB valve. Let's do it. So snorkel is made of two pieces, front and rear. this little container for air I guess and I will have to undo two clamps holding intake pipe one on engine side and another one on air box side and I will disconnect this breather hose the vacuum pipe. Now intake pipe can be removed. There you can see throttle body. We have an electrical connector and two water hoses connected to the throttle body. also PCV valve on the left side. We can remove everything but I will keep all electrical plugs plugged in so the car will not detect any faults. Yeah, this is map sensor, keep in mind and it will be connected. Intake temperature sensor again connected, so just pull it out. Now there's this fuel breeder. Throttle body has four screws for 8mm socket, so you can remove those. body can be detached from intake manifold. A little bit of a carbon buildup, we will clean that later. Now we can move on to intake manifold. There are two screws on the top. and five screws below. Let's remove two top ones. The two top ones are the same and bottom ones are different in length, so don't mix them up. So let's loosen them and remove. Mm. 
Now we can remove entire intake manifold. Here we go, now we can access all four spark plugs. Let's see inside of the intake. Let's briefly clean everything and start with the spark plug coils. Keep in mind that I will keep them connected. Each coil is held in place by one 6mm screw for 10mm socket. And coil can be detached, so just gently wiggle and pull and here we go. Inside should be spark plug. Okay, let's remove all of them. And last one. This engine has around 80,000 kilometers on it, so it's not too bad, but it's definitely time for new spark plugs. This is a brand new Bosch spark plug, and I'll be using 14 millimeter socket that I had to modify in order to fit it inside of the engine. I will loosen all four spark plugs first. And use mm -hmm. this rubber hose to remove spark plugs from the head. Because I don't have a dedicated spark plug socket, but this hose works its magic. Look at that. This is an old spark plug from cylinder number four. Here we go, all four together. Let's install the new ones the same way. Yeah, make sure to subscribe, else your car will not start. Make sure to google out the correct torque specs for, for tightening the spark plugs. I'll install coils back.
and also for bolts. Now a little bit of brake cleaner. Let's clean the gasket and put intake manifold back on. Five screws in from the front. and two on the top. Now map sensor back in. Also intake temperature sensor. PCV valve. And I will tie the bolts around. This green gasket fell off from here, it can be reused, it's a rubber. And now a little bit of wipe for the throttle body and it can go back on. Throttle body is held on by four screws for 8mm socket. Intake pipe Oh no, first it needs to be brake booster and then intake pipe Held on by two clamps This is a brake booster of course this is a breeder horse. This is the weird container for air. Probably helps with the noise or something like that. And the rear end for snorkel. And front end. Done. Now we can test it out as everything is on its place. Let's start the engine. Alright, everything is running well. Thanks for watching and see you next time.